Well, you found us. Hello, uh, this is the Richard and Judy Book Club, and this is one of the loveliest books I think we've ever recommended that you read. It's called, depending on where you were born in Britain, either The Seamstress, if you're in the south like me, or The Sempstress, all right? You say Sempstress up north, don't you? I think it's a question of age, not, <laughs> not geography, oh, but well. still. <laughs> well, well, moving swiftly on, I'm going to call it The Seamstress. Um, and it's a fabulous saga. It's, it's set in 1920s Spain to begin with, and it follows the fortunes of the seamstress, uh, who's Sira, who's a young girl, and she's born into this profession. Her mother's a seamstress, and as she grows up, she's taught how to profess her trade. Um, and her life it looks as if it's going to be pretty damn boring. She's got an incredibly boring fiancé. She's got a boring prospect ahead of her for the rest of her life, just doing sewing. Um, and then two extraordinary things happen. First of all, she's seduced, uh, and then the Spanish Civil War kicks off. And it's against that background that uh, Maria Duenas has written her story. Lovely to see you. Um, this is a, such a good read, and it's a real saga, it's a real epic. Um, did you set out to write such a big, big story with such huge themes, you know? Ah, well, hello. Well, that was my intention. Yeah. That was my intention. I knew that I wanted to write a long story full of action, full of things, full of passion, but I wasn't very sure how long it would take, how mm. many different experiences it would cover. And I started writing and that's, that's the finish. Well that's I must say I, I wish I was fluent in Spanish because this is a brilliant read in English. It's beautifully yeah. translated. It's, it's a beautiful very translation faithful. it is. Uh, but I would love to have read it in Spanish because the passion and the, and the heat and the dust you know that, that comes off these pages. It's, um, it's a very passionate book. I have to say it has one of the most um, unusual seduction scenes I think I've ever read quite early on in the book, and, and that was where you had me actually, that, that was when I realised that I was going to love this book, because, because you, could, you can pull off so many tricks. Um, it takes place in a, in a, in a typewriter sale room, mm -hmm. um, and Sarah goes with her incredibly boring fiancé to buy a typewriter, and he's what in English we call a nerd, um, he's just <laughs> totally focused on the machinery, and he doesn't realise that Ramiro, who runs this place, is incredibly good looking, handsome um, manager is seducing his girlfriend right under his nose. Um, it was an extraordinary place to write a seduction scene in a typewriter sale room. Did, did, you, did you deliberately choose it just, just to amuse yourself? Yeah, well, I wanted to, to confront both men, the, the boring one yeah. and, and the, the gorgeous one, the gorgeous one yeah. together. And she's in between, Sirius in between, and she doesn't really That's know true. what to do because, yeah. because they are doing something as simple as buying a typewriter. Yeah. But I wanted to confront them initially mm -hmm. so that all the readers could be seduced by, by Ramiro as well. Yeah. And they tell me, as you say, that it's a powerful erotic, it's very erotic. Uh, uh, scene. It wasn't really my intention. I mean, I just wanted to the three of them to meet and yeah. to get together. But it came out that way. They told so you what they wanted to what yeah. Ramiro actually seduced yeah. you, didn't he? <laughs> it's, it's, that, it's that moment when he's, he's just drawing her in and, and looking, making very full eye contact and making yeah. slight suggestive comments that her boyfriend doesn't pick up. And then he just brushes her yeah, around with his finger. Oh, and you know then that they're going to go to bed. You know <laughs> and that's and then it's been a, nice. um, a huge success in Spain, even yeah. though this is your first novel. Mm -hmm. um, uh, success, uh, I think they call it by word of mouth, people talking about yes. it. And it was made into a television series, yes, wasn't it? Yes. And was that a kind of, did that cover the whole era from uh, the 20s through the Spanish Civil War and everything mm -hmm. and were you happy with that yeah everything well it hasn't been uh, on the air yet it, it's finished ah, right. all right all I the understand. filming done and we hope that either September October uh, we will be able to see it on on TV I think it's a wonderful wonderful thing what they've done it mm. will be 11 episodes yeah. long ones 70 minutes each yeah. they filmed in the original locations they went to Morocco they went to Tangiers, to Tetuan, they went to Madrid, to Lisbon, and everything is lovely on the yeah, Sort of the Spanish equivalent of Downton Abbey over here. Which <laughs> you sort of, of, sort of. It's, yeah. a, it's a bit, uh, it's not exactly that same period of time, no, but no, a of course not. couple later. of decades later. later, but it's sort of the same atmosphere. Do you have Downton Abbey in Spain? Are they yeah, we do. We do. love it. Yeah, it's global, really isn't it? It's global. Success. Well, we hope, we hope, this, we hope the Samsung yeah. comes to our television, because I'd, oh, I'd love to see it. I'd um, love to. Without I'd giving too much it. of the plot away, Sarah runs away with Romero. He takes her to Morocco. She inherits a huge amount of money from, from a very distant father. He, of course, takes it and then does a runner and disappears, and she's left penniless. And eventually she makes her way back to Spain as the Civil War unfolds. Mm -hmm. How how sensitive is it, even today, for someone like you to write about the Spanish Civil War? Because it's still a kind of an open wound in Spain, isn't it? It's still a very, uh -huh. very sensitive subject. 
It is, but still we talk about the civil war all the time. Yeah. I mean, we, we, from all different perspectives, from more historical mm -hmm. and more rigorous points of view, but also in fiction, films, uh, sometimes uh, trying to find out something different, sometimes it's just telling what happened or creating new things with the war as a background. Uh, but there's still, a, there's still a big sense of guilt, isn't there, in, in Spain, about what happened in the, in the Civil War, some of the atrocities? Yeah, and well, still there is, sometimes there is controversy, uh, because everything is not closed. Sometimes uh, people think that still we haven't, uh, we don't have all the, all the things open, all the information, and um, so there is uh, what we call the law of the uh, historical memory, memoria historica, yeah. open just to we will recover what happened in, in full detail. Mm. But still we feel comfortable talking about the war. It's, it's not a taboo at all. You would have been a, a, a girl, wouldn't you, when Franco was, was still yes. the dictator? Yes, yeah, I was, I was 11 when he died. Ah. So I, yeah, I remember having Franco in our coins and, yeah. and the stamps and seeing him on television. I don't remember much about the no, you're just a child. real political situation. I was a child, mm. but I remember Franco so being you, you were there. born into a dictatorship. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah. So, uh, once again, it's called the Semstress, the Seamstress. How do you say that in Spanish? La Costurera. La Costurera. La Costurera, the one who sews. The one who sews, fantastic. Okay. Um, it's a wonderful story. It is just beautiful. If you, if you enjoy good writing, which I know you do, don't we all, it's, it's a treat, it really is. Uh, and as with all the books in, in the book club, um, you can get lots of extra value in the back. There's our question and answer session uh, with all the authors, lots more stuff like that. And as of now, we've got a book club app. You just download it to your smartphone. When you go into the shop, you switch the app on, point it at the book that, uh, that we're recommending and that you fancy buying and we'll pop up on the screen straight away and uh, give you a verbal review of what we think is a wonderful book. So uh, enjoy. I'm going to say it the southern way. The seamstress. <laughs>